We're doing it live. I'm just gonna wait. Just gonna, you know, nonchalantly put and just put that on. Nobody's gonna notice anything at all. <laughs> Lower the camera down. What's going on, guys? It's Sunday. Oh, and yay, lights. What's up, Roberto? Ah, feels like forever since I've done a Sunday live show. It's almost like it was almost last year. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, what's going on, guys? It's Sunday almost afternoon, at least for me. Whatever time of day it is for you. Yay. So, first live stream really in the new year, technically speaking. Because the last one was right at the beginning. So, first week of the new year, pretty much over. And it was kind of a busy one. Eh? <laughs> like, work was weird. And I got many, many shipments today. No, not today, this week. First third party transformer. What'd you get, buddy? This thing is heavier than I thought. Talk to me, Roberto. What is it? What do we have? What did you get? Was it something I have? Did you buy it off my recommendation? Not Jetfire. Which not Jetfire did you get? What's up, Lee? Oh, I almost forgot. Hold on. Bear with me for a second, guys. I have to put a thing on. There. Ring light. It totally makes my eyes look pretty. Oh, you got Fan Toys Phoenix. Nice. That's a good one. Why is my camera crooked? Sorry, I'm still playing with my new tripod. Um, it doesn't necessarily do the thing. Come on. That did nothing. Anyways. <laughs> I'm starting to think it's just the phone mount part. But anyways, um, I was going to say, if you watched the vlogs this week, you saw that I got a lot of stuff. However, I haven't edited that vlog yet because I've been either too busy or too lazy. Uh, this past week has been really crazy with lack of sleep, stupid things at work, and just general living and trying to get back into the swing of things here on the channel because realistically taking those couple almost two weeks off for New Year's slowed me down and I'm like now I have to play catch up again so because it's Sunday you know I have to film Master Grade Monday because heaven forbid I do it in a reasonable amount of time so I have one of two things I want to do for Master Grade Monday one was supposed to come out in about three weeks but because somebody brought it up, I might go ahead and skip it. Um, what? What What was that, Lee? <laughs> I have no idea what you just tried to ask me. Hold on, let me see if I can scooch my phone over a little bit here. I'm not tripping. I don't know. I don't know if that's working. Hello, CB671 Ego. Where's shocks? I don't know what you're asking me. Anyways, where was I? Oh, back in the swing of things. So, I should just call this back on the swing of things. Um, I did get quite a few quickies done. Like, real fast little things that I got done. Um, I got some really cool stuff in the mail that I either have to review and or build. <laughs> um... Just a lot of stuff to work on this week, so I've got to get back to work on the custom, which um, I haven't touched in a long time. <laughs> and, you know, I'm sorry, Reese. You know, I'm, I'm getting it when I can, so I'm finally going to get back to work on it this week. This marks the first week, finally, since Christmas that... Yeah, you're, you're just in time, Blue. I just barely got started. Um, since beginning of Christmas that... Even back to Thanksgiving, even, that my schedule is finally back to normal. I finally have my regular days off. I have my normal uh, schedule back on track. Um, work is kind of still a little bit weird with the post-Christmas stuff, but there might be a couple days where I don't have all of my free time that I normally have. So I've got to get back to building this week, just in general. I've got to build a few more things. 
I've got to review a few, one or two master grades just to get myself caught back up, including the one for tomorrow, so we can get the first master grade Monday of 2018 rolling. Um, lots of things, just all the things, guys. I did get something really, really awesome. If you saw it in the thumbnail, just a little bit of a teaser there for something coming up. In fact, it's sort of hanging around my neck here. If you're following my Facebook or Instagram, you've already seen it and you know that I'm excited. Um, oh, I forgot about this. We, we hung out with uh, a really good friend of mine last night. We hadn't seen him in probably at least a year. Um, just way too busy. He's been trying to fix his house up. Went over there and we played Cards Against Humanity and Exploding Kittens all night. And we had way so much fun. Battle Striker, what's up, buddy? Haven't seen you in a long time. Um, but yeah, we had a ton of fun. But the funny thing is, like, uh, they had something for me that they bought when his wife was in Japan, like a long time ago. And totally forgot to give it to me. I have seen. I have seen. It's kind of hard to miss. All right, so they bought this thing for me, I guess, out of a... I guess you get them out of vending machines. You get, like, these little egg dealies. Of course, there was a bigger outer shell before. But it's really, really cool. Totally forgot to give it to me. It's this little, like, Geshapon dude. It's a little fake Zaku Gundam. Look at it. It's so freaking cute. I don't know what the hell that noise was. Can you hear that? I mean, like, really? It's like somebody's sawing outside. What the hell? Well, yeah, these little capsule figures. And apparently, I guess this one is a rarity or something like that. I'm not sure. I couldn't read the actual uh, label because it's totally in J Japanese. But compared to all the other ones, this one is freaking awesome. And, like, the only one that was like this. And kind of makes me want to build this, to be perfectly honest. Um, but he, this thing is probably going to become a new, uh, a new Shoki fixture, as it were. Kind of like, um, the, is it Nice Gundam? How's that pronounced? But it's a, it's a Zaku Gundam fusion, as it were. You guys probably know a little bit better. Nints? You're just making up words at this point. <laughs> yeah, she couldn't figure out how to exactly pronounce it. Like, his wife is Japanese. Um, she's become very, um, nice. She's become very Americanized. But she still reads manga in the raw and stuff like that. Um, so she's trying to figure out how to say it, you know. Because it's one thing to be able to just read what it physically says right there in the, in the uh, uh, katakana and stuff like that. Um, but to actually try to say it, this is, um, yeah, that's where she has problems. But um, I wanted to film last night uh, just playing cards and stuff like that. But I didn't have a good way to film us playing. And not necessarily everybody wants to be on the YouTubes, you know. And we're playing... <laughs> um, yeah, we did play Cards Against Humanity with his older kids around. Um, they're teenagers, at least, so it's not too bad. We had a good time. Fun time was had by all. Much beer was drank, so I'm rather hungover. Um, I haven't been this hungover in a little while. Kind of annoying, to be honest. Um, what else is new? What's new with you guys? We're in the new year. What What's new in 2018 for you guys? Tell me right now. In the chat. Is this aggressive? I'm sorry if it's aggressive. Also, I want to thank anybody who uh, it may have been new to the channel. We have been growing, like, ridiculously fast. Um, yes, I figured you meant got the uh, freak Kai. Um, I, I'm... Uh, over 1,300. Oh, cool. On your way back to Houston. Good. Uh, we're over 1,300 people, which is crazy because if you think about it, this week last year, I was pushing for my 111 subscribers. So we hit 130, something like that. I don't remember how far we were this time last year at my birthday when I was trying to hit 111. Um, but you got to think, that's we're like 1,200. What's up? Dementor? Dementor? I can't say anything. You're building an X-Wing. Excellent, sir. Hype for Pixie Gundam. Okay. New contest is there from GBA. Anyway, Andrew, oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Why am I... What, what is GBA? I'm, I'm having a brain fart here. I'm hungover, guys. You gotta 
sometimes explain things to me. It's early. Considering I slept in, it's early. Um, GBA, GBA, GBA. Gundam Builders Association? <laughs> Gundam Builders of America? Game Boy Advance. What? Is it, is it Gundam Builders of America? Because that's at least the thing. <laughs> um, I'm in so many Facebook groups that... All, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Gundam Builders Association. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, is that a thing? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I know nothing of it, to be perfectly honest. Although, I do have just teasers... Once again, you're going to have to go over to the vlog channel to see what <laughs> Nobody reminded me. Sorry, guys. Come join the Discord. Sorry, guys. Also, um... Oh, uh, I started a Discord for anybody who doesn't know. Sorry, the M gear, everybody, I forgot. I, I even said, turn off the friggin' notifications. Sorry. Uh, that was an email, is what that was. Your ears, your ears are always in pain. My hair is a mess, guys. I should have worn a hat. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I started a Shoki Discord. Um, if you want to go over there, check it out. That's fine. Yeah, Roberto, it's your job. You're first usually. You're supposed to remind me of these things. Um, but I joined in on the Gundam Network or Gunplay Networks uh, Discord Discord for a little bit, but then like the sheer amount of notifications coming through was annoying me. Mostly because I'm at work and my phone is constantly going off at Discord notifications. So I had to, I had to like, mute all of the things. But it's kind of cool. Um, I might do some, like, Q&As over there if you guys ever want to join in. I will notify everybody, at least via the uh, Facebook. It's usually the easiest way to do things. No, Lee, it's just you. You're, you're the problem. By the way, did I have my Wi-Fi turned on? Yeah, my Wi-Fi turned on. Sorry. Um... Discord, yay. Yeah. I think so far Andy Tubbs is probably the only person who's on the Discord with me. I know Steffi was like, ooh, I'm going to come over there. And then um, somebody else. What are gun buckets that are P-Bandai but shouldn't be? All of them. Most P-Bandai shouldn't be. Any of the P-Bandais that came out in the last six months should not have been. Let's put it that way. Anything from the Gundam Build Fighters stuff recently. Yes, Game Boy Advance for everybody who just caught on to the joke. Um, I'm just looking around the room here. I have to clean up. If, if, you, if, if I'm seeming a little bit all over the place. Hazel is that weird thing. Like, I think Hazel wasn't supposed to be P Bandai here. I think it was supposed to be just like the X and Riser was. Where it's premium over there and a normal release here. I think is what it should have been. Because even Dion told me it was in his system. Like... At Hobbytown, like the normal Hobbytown system told him he could order it, but they don't have access to premium Bandai's. But then things change. So I think, at least from an insider's point of view, it should have been a non-premium release here in America. Just like the um, the Turning Red Astray is not going to be. So it's, it's, a, uh, it's premium over there, but it's not going to be here. And that's kind of how it should be. If we're not going to get a premium web shop access here in America, then they need to just give us those things over here. Maybe give it in slightly limited quantities, but give it to it give it to us in retail level. Because anybody over there can literally just walk into a store on release day, grab all the P Bandai's or just order a butt ton of them online. Um It was your fault, Lee, I told you. You probably couldn't see that because of the delay that it was your fault. I'm got heartburn, guys. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's the main thing, is that if we had access, we wouldn't have to pay secondary market pricing on it. Um, if we could actually get premium Bandai's for what they're supposed to retail for instead of all that stuff. The stores are selling Riser at premium price. That's just the price, dude. That That's not a, that's not a thing. It's just an expensive kit. <laughs> it's just what it is. It's a whole lot of kit. That'd be like people complaining how much the uh, Deep Striker cost. Uh, oh. 
Okay. Thank you for explaining that, Mark. Um, that's where he said cannon fodder or whatever. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? Is that a Facebook group or is that... Who's who's putting that on? I know it's a Gundam Builders Association. But I might be in that group, but I don't pay attention to it. No, I'm a Gundam Builder of America. I haven't seen Gundam Builders Association that I know of off the top of my head. Um, I need to enter a contest, even if just a local one. Um... Oh, it's on Discord. Gotcha. Okay. Maybe I'll put on a Discord build contest later on this year. I would like to have a build contest with you guys. Um, oh, okay. That makes sense. I, I, you guys are talking a little quickly, so like I'll see like a thing as it goes by. Um, but that's cool. That's actually very cool. Um, and if you guys have Discord and stuff like that, I do have a works in progress. I do have a builder showcase section on my Discord. So if you want to show stuff you're working on, there's a whole section. If you want to show something you've built, there's a whole section. Now, I'm going to monitor it as best I can, to be honest. It's hard for me to keep up with all of that, to be totally honest. And, like, if I'm at work and I have time, which you guys know, I tend to reply to comments fairly quickly, almost at any given time. Um, so if I can do that, you know, on the Discord side... Which, Discord goes a little quick, usually, especially if you have a lot of people. Which, if we've got 1,300 people here on the Shoki channel, and at least a fraction of them go over to the Discord, yay! Um, it would be great to actually pick up a sponsor, maybe even have, uh, I don't care if it's a DNA comic, something like that, if they want to pull up, just to do a contest for the Shoki channel. Um, but you guys, you guys know I tend to sponsor my own stuff at this point. What kits are beginner's traps? You're going to want to explain that a little bit better. <laughs> um, oh, guys, I met a new Gunpla nerd last night. He's a friend of a friend of one of my co-workers, that, or ex-co-workers, I should say. We met up for his birthday, and and I will. I'm going to have to start putting the Discord link in my descriptions anyways, um, so I'll do that from now on. But just real quick, so I'm talking to my buddy. We're having a beard. I just started it. Um, that's why you didn't know. Uh, so I'm talking to my buddy at the bar. I'm just trying to have one quick beer with him. I got to get back home. And he's like, hey, my friend over here is like, you should see his place. He's such a nerd. And he's like, but, you know, he says everybody's a nerd for something. And so he goes, yeah, my my, uh, my nerd thing is something a lot of people probably don't really know about. And, Do you know about Gumpla? And I went, high five. <laughs> I was like, that's like my job. I was like, I like, pulled out the phone and I'm showing him. I was like, I got him on the channel. I was like, dude, you have to come over. It's like, if you're local, you have to come over. Because we're talking about, he's only built a few so far. But, like, he wants to go to the nines. Like, he wants to, he thinks everything needs to have this really cool metallic paint job and weathered and stuff like that. I was like, go for it, dude. Um, so, Tom was like, no, 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 you got to come over. It's like, you got to come play in the Shoki Cave. Uh, I, well, realistically, like, if, okay, fine, you want to ask a question... A kit that isn't for beginners, I think, is what you're asking. Um, these up here, like the big Verkaz, I would say those are definitely not for beginners. Um, age, age 2 Master Grade, that's probably not for beginners because I screwed mine up. Um, Unicorn, not for beginners. I need people like that all the time. Um, I really don't. Um, yeah, what he said. RG Sinaju is not for beginners. Most RGs are not for beginners. Um, hey, I was a beginner. I started with MGs. Non-oblivious non ones. And I meant obvious. What are some non-obvious kits that are bad for beginners? That's a silly question, man. Because it's the obvious ones. Like, okay, well, mo I can't really speak because I started at Master Grades and worked my way down to High Grades, but I've had some incredibly difficult High Grades over the last couple years. So, it, it's, it's kind of whatever. Uh, I would say don't do a... a uh, where am I pointing? Don't do not do a... Uh... Oh my god. Frame arms. Don't necessarily start off with a frame arms kit. Um, uh, don't do either of these guys over here. These two MGs. The Freedom and the Justice. I would not start there as a beginner. Um, Psycho Zaku. Either, any version of the Psycho Zaku I would not do as a beginner. Because there's just so much to it. Now what's awesome... And I didn't... Okay, if you guys have seen my um, 
my New Year's Eve contest video. There you go. Um, IBO is an incredibly builder friendly uh, beginner set. Yep. Anyways, so if you if you watch my video from the uh, contest on New Year's, it has been up for since yesterday. Wow, I just realized it has a ton of views considering I just put it up yesterday. Um, there's a dude, he's definitely not a beginner, but he did a straight build of the HG Psycho Zaku that nearly won best in show. I'm not joking. Like, we, we were, if you watch the video, um, we're debating back and forth on, on the, uh, best in show, who's going to win that. And it literally came down to the guy who won with the, uh, black Fenice and this nearly perfect HG Psycho Zaku. And he did no detailing. He just did all the stickers. He cleaned everything up. He only had a few nubs and most of them were on the weapons. Cause if you guys have built that kit, you know, just the sheer amount of weapons and the crap on the backpack. That's the only place you could really see nubs. Um, and then of course the back of the feet you can't, those are like the super hardest things to ever get rid of on a Zaku is that little nub on the back of the foot and on the side on the MGs. But it was so good that like we had, we had to get a third party person in there and we know he scrutinizes to the nines. He had a super powerful flashlight getting up close, looking at all these kits and some of them were just so beautiful and perfect. But he thought that that HG Psycho Zaku straight build was as good as a fully painted and very nicely detailed MG. Sorry, I'm trying to read things. Got everything I wanted for Christmas. Jim Sniper Custom Cheered Saga and Zaku Half Cannon. Sweet. Uh, I need to get Zaku Half Cannon whenever it comes out. All right, well, it's already out, but I need to get it. So I'm trying to read everything, but I can't because it always disappears. There we go. Um, technically speaking, I got a lot of stuff post-Christmas. And if you want to see all those things, the vlog will be up probably later today. So go over to the Life of Shoki vlogs if you want to see... The two enormous boxes of stuff that I got this week. <laughs> and the really, really cool thing that I have around my neck right now. Because I talked about it. And actually, I have to finish reviewing it. I, I did all of the out-of-the-box stuff, but I forgot to actually film just the box. Um, just to show it off. But that's like a five-second thing. When a box is entirely in Japanese, there's no English on it. Really easy to review, you know? <laughs> but I saw this thing right here around my neck. I saw it online. And I ordered it immediately. It didn't come out for nine months. <laughs> but it finally came out. That's because it's just Tom C. Nason's stuff, dude. Don't even bother. If you want P. Bandai, just go to all the normal on time, on on time real retailers. I'm hungover. And I forgot to bring a drink in here. But if you guys want to see at least something. Actually, you know what? I got four boxes this week. I got a box from J.C. Grooves. Shout out to him. Uh, I got a box from two boxes from Big Bad Toy Store and a Gundam Planet box. And it was all very expensive. I'm not going to lie. But I need to get back, as I said before, I need to get back to work on the custom local type for Reese so that I can get that thing done. Um, just go to, if you need those things, USA Gundam Store if they have anything. Um, Gundam Planet, you just have to catch them early. Um, big bad toy store occasionally. Um, they don't always get everything, but they get some. Just doesn't. I mean, mind you, you're gonna pay American. You're gonna pay the the uh, second market price. You're never gonna get that. However, hey Scott, what's up? Anyways, uh, oh, uh, just realistically, guys, get into Hobby Mission. I forgot. That's what Hobby Mission is. <laughs> Um, I'm in that group and I'm just like, what is hobby mission? Um, there's usually a lot of guys in like Gundam garage sale groups and stuff like that, that are buying all these things at normal prices overseas and shipping them and then actually selling them for very reasonable prices. And a lot of them you can trust. They're very good. The guy who I bought the... Oh, the Aries Grays. The guy I bought the Aries Grays from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. The Aries Grays from. Uh, I bought that at normal price. You know, it wasn't the double 
double secondary friggin' market. Um, and off the top of my head, cannot think of his name. Cannot think of the guy's name. It's a weird, weird name. But he's out of New York. I know that. But he get, he buys all the stuff, P Bandai wise, and then turns around and sells it for almost no profit. And that's great. That's what people should do if they have access overseas. This is my opinion. So, um, but Hobby Town is, at least my Hobby Town, is working on access to premium Bandai kits. Um, it, they're jumping through hoops, but it might be possible in the very near future for Hobby Town in Houston to be getting premium Bandai on the shelf, um, or at least for pre order. If, that kind of stuff. Um, you'll probably have to pay up front, no layaway, first come, first serve situation, but you're not going to be paying ridiculous overpriced um, things. And I guess HLJ, um, you can get P Bandai from as well. I don't know. All those stores, any of, any of those uh, Japanese online stores, you can generally get premium Bandai's for. You're going to pay out the ass for shipping usually, but if you bundle the order enough, then it takes care of it. So, yeah. Why? Because it's a Japanese only thing, dude. <laughs> it's like, it's not part of their standard retail releases. It's a premium web store exclusive is what it is, usually. Um, and it's a Japanese thing. HL Why does everybody tell me to go to HLJ for P Bandai? Nippon Yasan is pretty good. Um... I have I was gonna buy from them and then the shipping was gonna kill me, because uh, I had I had like five kits loaded up. I think we're gonna be total was only gonna be like ninety bucks or something like that. Um, it was all stuff I wanted, uh, but it was gonna cost me so much to get here. Ami Ami, I've looked at that. Um, because you gotta think a lot of these things you're shipping either from Japan. Or you're shipping from China, or you're sh shipping from Thailand, or wherever people have access. I just said Thailand, I don't know. You know, sorry if I'm wrong. Um, that's probably is a, that's probably why I'm lacking a lot of viewers right now, is because I went hours later than normal. We really slept in. We didn't get home until like 2 a.m. It was a good long night. Um, and Miss Shoki possibly is going to work today. I don't know. I'm not going to rush her out the door or anything like that. But, you know, much like her going to work on a Sunday so she can get a lot of work done without being bothered, I can get a lot of work done if she's not here. You know, I don't feel like I'm ignoring her or stuff like that or avoiding her. And I have a huge box right over there um, that has to be cataloged and put away. <laughs> uh, I gotta get my room back in order. I, we had, Me and Nick got it clean. The, uh... Two weeks ago, I guess when he, no last week. Last week, not this week that just passed. The week before, that's when it came over. See, my I'm still not on my regular schedule yet, but I got a lot, a lot of stuff to review. I got a lot more quickies, a lot more things I can go over, a lot more gunpla, and I mean a lot. Oh, I can't necessarily show all of that. I just thought about that. Yeah, the new F91 2.0 is supposedly happening. I think. Who was it that somebody was all like, yeah, but it's just a teaser. It doesn't mean they're doing it. I think they're showing us what they're coming up with the next few things. It's not just a, not just a throwaway like, oh, hey, here's a design we might work with. Like the HG wound wart. Oh, Steffi. Steffi's all like, yeah, they're probably not going to make it. No, enough people want the wound wart that, or wound wart, however you want to say it, um, that it's happening. I mean, that's just, it's a thing. I'll probably pick that one up, to be honest. The only reason I, I didn't want to buy like the, the third-party version is because I heard that while it looks good, sometimes it's not a good build. So, you know, if we're getting a new generation HG, I really dislike Debbie Downers. Well, some people, and well, I guess technically speaking, a lot of people don't trust Bandai anymore because they either say they're going to... Yeah, that thing. Um, I'm not interested in that at all. Uh, some people... Don't trust Bandai because of what they've done in recent years. Hey, look at this awesome thing we're making. This is going to be so great. And then four years go past and they never made it. Um, you know, age three, age effects. Or they go, look at this awesome thing. Isn't it great? Don't you want it? Premium Bandai. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> 
Actually, speaking of that, I have... Okay, so next Sunday, I'm going to be at the Hobbytown meet. So, hey, if you're in the Houston area, come out to Hobbytown, Houston for the uh, uh, Gundam Club meet. It's from 12 to 6. 1 to 6. 1 to 6. Anyways, um, but I have to buy, or I have to pay off one of my pre-orders. I doubt, or uh, layaways. I doubt I'll get the other one done. But i got to figure out what I'm going to work on next. I have I have my schedule up. <clears throat> Yeah, that took a while though. Yeah, we we but I think there was a long period of time where Bandai was having issues with production because that's the only thing I can think of. Um and one thing, oh, I want to bring this up, guys, cuz you guys know I love Planet X. I love my third-party Transformers. They are doing that thing that Hasbro does. And I guess it's unavoidable where they're mostly doing repaints right now. They've got two brand new molds coming out uh, within the next couple months. If they're not necessarily out yet in some places. But for the most part, they're just doing repaints and custom versions of things. And I, they had a post um, that, that they did that they had problems with their factory, wherever it is. And that certain things weren't getting made yet. Like... They put off the um, Neptune that they've been that everybody's begging for. They need to have their Neptune, which is their version of Sludge, one of the best ones they've ever made, and they only had one run of it so far. They just re-released the um, yes that they just re-released Grimlock, both the metallic and regular version. Even though they said that they weren't going to have a lot of the normal Grimlocks. Um, but those are both out, so if you need access to that, even though I just went and bought mine, which is, was essentially new in box, um, I bought that one last year from uh, dude, Eddie. Um, which, Eddie, for the love of God, stop obsessing about Squishy. It's getting weird, man. <laughs> dude is obsessed with Squishy. Like, I think that's one reason why I haven't had normal Squishy in the videos in a while. I've just used Squishy Jr. Um, Eddie's just freaking me out over Squishy, man. Um... But the fact that they're just doing repaints over and over, um, they just announced their Nemesis Prime, uh, which is just a straight up repaint of their normal Prime. It looks phenomenal, but they're already getting more mileage out of that with their Ultra Magnus. Their Ultra Magnus is a normal Prime painted white, uh, minus one or two things, and which once again looks phenomenal. Then you throw on the Magnus armor, and he becomes Ultra Magnus, which that's kind of cool they went the G1 route with that. I actually dig that. But the fact that they're getting the mileage out of that mold now, I was just like, yeah, change it a little bit. Because for Magnus, we don't get the standard weapons. We get the Magnus weapons. But the Prime version is just a white and blue Optimus. You know, And I guess that's better than where Hasbro went, which was literally just a repaint with a slight remolded head. Actually, it's a very remolded head. For their Ultra Magnus, you know, it's a little bitty. I have it um, over there somewhere. Which I guess technically I can compare that now. Um, I would have been okay with just that with a few add-ons. Just give us a whole new thing. But it doesn't look game accurate. Which they did have a version of Ultra Magnus in the multiplayer unlockable parts of Fall of Cybertron. They got close. Uh, there's only one reviewer, at least that I've seen, that I follow. That got pre-production samples from... Um, Actually, I guess technically they're late production samples um, of Megatron and Ultra Magnus. Both of them look phenomenal, and I think, if I'm right, the Megatron, his giant fusion cannon, can take an LED f that Apocalypse uses. Because the, the front of the cannon is purple, and looks like it'll just go in there. Hasbro will not stop making Transformers. They just need to stop making Transformers for children or geared entirely towards children. What's a squishy? Oh my friend. You have to go to the squishy video. Go way back in my in my videos and find Squishy. Um speaking of which, where is he? Oh he's down here. Hold on, I gotta pick some stuff up. Stay. Squishy. Come here boy. Come here squishy. He's my squishy. 
nice squishy. That's a squishy. He doesn't he doesn't get a lot of daylight anymore. Yes, Ramark, what is it? If you will choose what Grant Squishy. Hold on. I gotta try to figure out what the hell Mark just said to me. Random question. If you will choose what a grant suit, assuming a grunt suit, you will be going for a straight build and a grade. So just a straight build, any grunt suit, grays. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't know. Most of them might have been straight builds. I don't know. Uh, and hold on, what was that blue? My favorite kit bash? I don't know. I've got a couple. Oh, I have a kit bash that none of you have seen yet. It's not done. So far, it's my favorite, and I just haven't finished it. It's very extensive. And it's is a, it's been a kit bash so far, but it's going to start involving more scratch building. But you can't see it yet. <laughs> you guys can't see it. The Patreon guys have seen it. A few of my close friends have seen it because you can't miss it when you come over. And I mean, you can't miss it. Um... But other than that, I think, obviously, my Grace Karabata is one of my favorite ones because it's amazing. Um, you've got this guy right here, my kind of double O strike big swords. And then you got my other double O strike up there. That's good kit bash. Um, actually, that whole, most of this shelf is like customs and kit bashes. So you've got the tractor, you've got my double O build strike. You got my Kuribata, that kind of stuff. So I try to keep all my custom stuff in this realm here. And my uh, frame arms. I just need a frame arm shelf eventually. Which, by the way, I still need to review this. Why is the dome test type the wallpaper? Oh, on the thing? Because that was one of the earliest, uh, earliest reviews I did. And I needed to make... Uh, a header. <laughs> it's like I was having a hard time doing any of that. So I need to update it. I've got other things I could put up there now. It's just uh, YouTube is funny about the dimensions you have to use. So I have to plan that out whenever I need to update that. But I was working on getting some custom artwork done. And that necessarily hasn't gone through just yet. Yeah, let's go squishy. He's my, he's my squishy. He's my squishy. And I did a good job on that Dom test type. That was one of my favorite kits of that year. And I did do some custom weathering on this guy because they didn't, you know, uh, Jack Specific didn't necessarily go far enough with some of the weathering on it. But yeah, go watch go watch the Squishy video. It's absolutely worth it. Um, you'll see why he's important to the channel. But uh, yeah, I think, what are we at? Almost 40 minutes? I think it's about time to go. I gotta get to work on things, guys. You know, I actually have to work around here sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Uh, I think I'm going to do a series of videos without my my uh, review my review light because like I shot a couple yesterday no not yesterday Friday um, <laughs> I don't have a life um, and it was actually looking pretty good without the complete direct lighting so I might try a couple of videos again without it and just see if it works or not um, trying to upgrade a lot of things this year, trying to upgrade my equipment. I have this new awesome tripod. You're no longer sitting on the desk. I have a job, but that doesn't take up much of my time. This is my job, um, that I actually want to do. Um, I have my new awesome tripod that I'm using. Bye, Lee. Fine, just go. Just go, Lee. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> Bring back beer. Anyways, uh, I want to upgrade my lighting I want to fix my set a little bit, make it a slightly better, a little cleaned up. I got a lot of eye crud. Um, in the next couple months, I have to get rid of all of this crap over here and start for my build, my build area, because I want to have a build area in this room instead of having to take up a whole table out there. I want to have a paint booth set up so I can actually start um, airbrushing or even just painting inside. Because there's stuff I need to paint right now, but with the weather going back and forth between freezing and mildly warm and soaking wet, it's really hard to paint outside right now. Um, I actually have to paint a thing over here that's shaped like a Power Ranger. I have to paint that before next week. <laughs> Lee's like, I'm leaving. Bye. 
Um, and then I need to just figure out what to do with this massive tower of of uh, Master Grade boxes. Do you guys want to see the giant tower of Master Grade empty boxes? I'll wait. Still waiting. There we go. Okay. I just wanted to see at least two things. So, giant pile of Master Grade boxes. So, yeah. That has to be dealt with. No freaking room <laughs> in here anymore. And they're actually, they're not, they don't go to the floor. There is a tub right there. It's my tub of nerdiness. Um, which is just full of stuff that I probably can just get rid of uh, for the most part. But actually, I need to put a lot of things in said tub and probably just go ahead and put it out in the storage closet. Um, so you guys see all my HG and some MG boxes up here on top of the Detolfs. Yeah, that's obviously nothing compared to the pile of friggin' Master Grade boxes. And I'm tired of that just being in my way. And like I said before, uh, very soon I want to get rid of all the beer and stuff that's in my closet over here. Either drink it or pour it, one of them. And uh, I'm just going to have one really shitty day one day. Um, and get my backlog, or as much of my backlog as I can, in my closet. Well, I'm not going to throw them away. That's the thing. Now, I know I can compact a few, put smaller stuff in some of the bigger boxes, like the uh, Sazabi, the Unicorn, the uh, Full Burst. You know, the, the bigger Master Grade boxes can probably store some of the smaller ones or even a bunch of HGs. Um, or, where are they? Somewhere up there. The sheer amount of Bear Guy boxes or Petite Guy boxes. I can totally put away a bunch of those and probably gain back at least an entire section. Which I don't know if you guys have ever seen. Those go all the way to the ceiling, too. So you can see, I'm pretty much out of room for things. Yeah, um, hard part about that is getting drunk in building doesn't really work. Um, <laughs> although Nick and, Nick and I do do that sometimes. But not all of my Gundam friends drink, so that doesn't help. But um, I, I need to get the beer collection down. I need to put away my backlog which is all over here and which has, I think, doubled in the last week. Uh, get all that put away. Probably get rid of some of the stuff that's in storage up here. Um, I've got picture frames that I've never put pictures in that we wanted to get pictures of us and uh, put them up in the house somewhere and we haven't. I've got artwork over here that needs to be mounted on the wall. I just haven't got my wall space because I have giant boxes in the way. Um, all that Star Wars art that I've looked at over the last couple years, um, I need to get all of that on the wall. I need to reorganize my Nintendo figures. Hold up. All of my Nintendo figures, because it's a mess. So I gotta, I gotta fix that. Which, by the way, the thing on here, beer, gunpla, sharp objects. Something will go wrong with the beer and gunpla combined. Exactly. Um, and now that I'm into comic books again, now I have to have somewhere to put my comic books. Um, so I need to get a comic box. So I've got, <laughs> oddly enough, I have my original comic book collection, which is one big shoebox. And then I have the comic book collection that I got from her mother, which is all classic comics that I don't have interest in, but I don't want to get rid of. Take perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Go buy some long boxes. I don't need a lot of long boxes, dude. I don't have that much. One small not so long box would actually work yeah trust me i would love to um honestly if if enough money starts flowing from this gig i'm gonna need a storage place i just i have to have one but i need to in this day and age i need to make sure i do not have gundam versus i'm sorry i ignored that question i don't have a playstation buddy i'm sorry um i have xbox but if i get a storage space that would be great for long-term storage of things um, but it has to be climate controlled and in this day and age, I would love a PO box as well, but the PO box has to be paid for by something. Um, so I can actually, yeah, there you go. Mr. Broadstone will help you. Um, so I can put away empty boxes, stuff like that, but I need to make sure it won't flood because that is a reality in this day and age. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I need more details and we're potentially going to be moving in the next year we'll see what happens um this apartment is going to outgrow us fairly soon or i said that backwards we're going to outgrow this apartment very soon 
So we might be house shopping by the end of the year. We'll see what happens. I'd love to have a house instead of living in a crappy apartment. Um, have more room for a Shoki cave. Um, just have more room in general because, you know, there's just not enough space. A three be If we got a three-bedroom apartment here, it would be as much as a house. Um, live in a mansion. I don't need a mansion. In a giant garage is what I need. I would love to have a Shoki Gumpla garage. I think that would be amazing. Um, of course, climate controlled and sealed. I don't want moisture getting in. Um, but I think that would be great. I've always wanted... Uh, plus, I love my cars. You guys know I love my cars. Well, you should know I love my cars. The Shoki Cave need to, needs to be upgraded in general. Ooh, I just remembered. Hold on. Wait. I just had a realization. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta do a thing. Hold on, sorry. I just had a realization. Screwdriver, screwdriver, screwdriver. Dang it, where's my screwdrivers? I'm gonna have to do this after the camera turns off. Ah, oh, Miss Shoki's in the shower. Very good. Sorry, I'm having a thing. Yeah, guys, I mean, I got... I, <laughs> I'm not exact, you know, it, looking around, you would think that I'm made of money. I'm not made of money. I'm made of time. What I have is a buttload of time to spend on a hobby. What I don't have is a lot of money to spend on a hobby. So I do what I can. But if this hobby turns into a payday, by the YouTubes, by the Patreon, stuff like that. <sighs> okay, sorry. Uh, it occurred to me that I have... Batteries for one of my favorite things. So what I, what I don't want to do, and I know it sounds really dumb because of the way most people live their actual lives, um, I don't want to fall into that thing where I go get a full-time job and I absolutely lose my hobby and my outlet. See, see, Gunpla is not just a hobby for me. It is a creative outlet that keeps me from doing bodily harm to myself. And that sounds like a bad joke, but it's not. Because for a very, very long time, I had no crea creative outlet. And if you take away a creative outlet from a creative person, they literally will go crazy. Finally, I realized I can do something. I had batteries for my light. This guy has been dead for a while because I had to take the batteries out for other things. But I have my Minecraft bottle back. I'm going to switch the... Ooh, I like that. I'm going to switch the uh, thumbnail to this. I'm going to leave it on screen long enough to get a thumbnail from it. Hey, 10 people are watching. Hello, people who are watching. If you haven't said hi yet, say hi. Hey, cool, you can see that ring light. I love this thing, by the way. Hey guys, if you have not watched my <laughs> watched my review of this silly little thing, go watch it. It's, so, it's just fun. Basically, it's me doing this. I love the red version. But no, this is legitimately uh, because I took the batteries out. Um, it was sitting dead next to my nightstand and like if we needed light for anything <laughs> in the middle of the night I literally would just reach over tap this thing and it lights up the bedroom <laughs> and, like it's just I have batteries it's like because I can't count sometimes you know that thing where you just go hey look uh, I forgot how to count <laughs> I bought two four packs of batteries thinking that I was going to use all of those for two things and then I went duh those only use two batteries each not four stupid so I had extra batteries and it just now occurred to me that I needed batteries for this guy and I love this thing guys go get you one they sell them all over the damn place anywhere you can find Minecraft stuff there's a dragon outside <laughs> what the hell was that but guys this is just so much fun I love this stupid simple just LEDs I don't know what that was. That's the thing. It sounded like a motorcycle and then it went away. I can't go to Costco. They take my money. They're very rude at Costco. Really? A dragon? It sounded like a dragon. <laughs> and I'm playing with my Minecraft bottle. It was a dragon. It was so much fun. Hold on. I'm going to do a thing real quick.
Mm -hmm. If you guys could hear that. All right, guys, but I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and go. Hold on, let me, let me figure out which way I got to do this real quick. Hold on. So on that note, I'm going to actually go ahead and let you guys go so I can go get on with my day. But you guys are awesome. Mobile suits are outside. There you go. Uh, but I hope you guys have a great weekend, a great week. Make sure you check out all the videos I put out this week because there's a lot of good stuff. And uh, look forward to some of the really cool stuff. And there will be more um, vlogs. Go over to the Shoki Vlog channel, okay? Uh, so you can see the giant box of stuff that I opened up this week. But I'll catch you guys later. Go check out all the other reviews. Like, subscribe, Patreon, blah, 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 blah. You guys are awesome. See you later. All these people didn't even say anything all this time. Now I'm going to go. Does anybody hear the music? Do you hear the music? I know what it is. He knows. <laughs> <laughs>